Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whatever time of day it is, where you're watching this around the world. Welcome to the Daily West Ham. Welcome to Full Iron. Duke, thanks for joining me, mate. How are you? I'm back. I'm back. This is this you is are. novel for me. And and I've depending released on you. when this goes down. You, you know what? It's 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 quite a pleasure to be here. I'm, I feel like a guest on my own channel. I'm fucking like it. Um Oh dear. It, it is what it is, isn't it? But um no, I yeah. I don't mean you, you, you gave me a shout earlier, you know, I was available, you know, which tends to be a novelty these days. <laughs> it's not mess around. Um, so, you know, why not? Let me let me come and yeah. do a video for a change. This would be nice. Might even so, try and do one in the end at some point. Woo! Do oh, it, oh, no. yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, though, guys. Don't forget, drop a like on the stream, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and touch that bell to be notified of any new bell. content. As we upload it to the channel, such as yeah. this. So, Duke, there's a story that you want to bring to the table. And there's a story that I want to bring to the table for discussion. And for those of you watching at home, either when this goes out on a premiere tomorrow morning, as we re-record this, um, or at a later stage, comment section below. Please get your teeth into it and tell us your, your take on the stories that we're about to discuss. We really, really would appreciate it. So, Duke, there's a story that you um, want to discuss, um, so over to you, my friend. Yeah, it, it, it's come out on the Football London website, and, and obviously it's something that concerned us all, Rob, before, um, uh, before we even spoke, you know, before the season even kicked off, and it's exactly this. It's exactly yeah. this. You know, we, we were fully aware of what... what um, fully aware of what in, uh, European football was going to bring us and, and, you know, the games were going to be coming, you know, thick and fast. Now, I've got to say, um, I wasn't aware that uh, first... Oh, he's Andrew Feller. Don't click for sound. Uh -huh. I don't want to see it. Um, yeah. I wasn't aware that these games would be coming just as quickly as they're going to be. Now, the reason this jumped out at me was we're going to be facing seven games um in the four weeks between uh Saturday Saturday coming and uh the next as it says there the next international break. I don't know why we've got to have another international break in four weeks. It's driving me poxy mad. But I just think, you know, we've you know Declan Rice has just come out of what playing two out of three um yeah. for England. Um you know Sue Fowl, Sue Czech uh, Vlasic played Antonio played one of the games for, for Jamaica obviously so, so these guys are going to be looking at play, well Declan Rice is going to be looking at having what if he plays in, in, the, in the seven games for us eight games, nine games in a matter of six weeks and I know what people are going to say um they're, they're professional footballers. They should be fit. This, that. I've, I've said it yeah. myself. But that's going to take a toll on its body. And we already had a stick-thin squad. Yes. As it was. You know, even 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 the four additions that we've made, don't get me wrong, um, you know, Ariola, uh, Zuma, uh, Vlasic, and uh, Alex Crow. Although we've made those additions, we also let Two more go out on loan. Well, actually, more than that, because um, Afalayan went out, didn't he, at the end of last season? Yep. Bolton, if my memory serves. Yeah. So he's there. So we've we've got um, we've got three out on loan and bought four in, and we already had a stink thin squad before we let the three go out on loan and bought four in. So essentially, we've only really added one player to the ranks, to the numbers. Sorry, if you will, um, and. With those in games terms of coming quality, as they are, you, in in terms, sorry, you're up there, Duke. But in terms of the no, quality, no. I know it's in numbers, it's one. But you know, is, is the quality not been bumped up considerably? Oh, the, oh, the quality, without a doubt. I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to. Um, I'm not. I'm not going to belittle the guys that we have bought in, and I'm certainly not going to belittle the guys that we've sent out on loan. You know, the the ones that have gone out are youngsters, and they're. You know, their time will come, be it at West Ham, be it elsewhere. 
their their time of being a first choice player for a respective side will be, you know, that's in their future. Um, you and I, before we came on, we're talking about Connor Coventry, um, and he's um, and and he we felt he should have been out on loan before, and this should be now probably the season after his breakthrough into the, the first team squad where he, you know, pretty much makes or breaks for it. Um, you know, same with Elder Becker and, and Afalayan. Um, so I'm not going to say, you know, I'm not going to put those guys down by saying, you know, the guys who bought in are, are significantly better. They are in terms of their development right now, but where these guys go, the, the loan guys, different story, but I would have, with the games coming like they are, so it's going to be a, you know, Saturday, Thursday, Sunday, Wednesday, I think. Yes, yeah, so it's Saturday this week, then it's Thursday, then it's Sunday, then it's Wednesday against United in the Carabao Cup. In the Carabao Cup, yeah. Then it's Saturday again, then it's Sunday, uh, then it's Thursday. And then it's really attritional, isn't it? Sunday again. Oh, it's, yeah, then it's Sunday again. Uh, final game at home against Brentford. Yeah. So there's now not going to be a break where these guys just in a week can have a, a you know one game Saturday all the way around then till Saturday again. So if we do pick up a knock, you know, chances are there's going to be players missing games left, right, and centre here. And mm. that's what concerns me, Rob. That's my issue with this right now, is the fact that, you know, I'm not being funny. Yes, Alex Crowell. Um, um, can I ask, because I didn't see it, did he pull out a knife and shank on Yamalenko on the pitch the other night? Or, or was that just I haven't that seen it cover? either, but I've I've been told that he, he, he went in for a challenge with him and... Uh... I don't really know too much more than that. Screaming and writhing in pain was one of the Twitter uh, one of the Twitter hey. comments I read. Um, Couldn't comment. That's why I asked. It, to be he's gone at him and, and have that son. Um, sorry, you just introducing myself. <laughs> yeah. Um, hi, I'm in a teammate. Um, so if that's the case, and, and now we find Yama injured for ten days or so, depending on you know, he might have broke his toenail or something. Um, that rules out someone that we could bring on away at Zagreb in a week. Yeah, that rules out that player. And I'm not saying we would definitely bring him on, but he yeah. would have been an option there 15, 10, 15 minutes to go. So I'm not saying he would have started, he probably wouldn't start, but he'd have that chance of coming off the bench. Um, so that's one less now. And, and th- to be honest with you, mate, they're just my concerns there, that we're, we are already thin. You know, we're coming out of an international break that other than Yarmolenko, it seems like the rest of the players are coming back healthy. Um, you know, Antonio's uh, hamstrings didn't go kaput. And, um, you know, yeah, exactly, exactly. But that's my concern is that, you know, with, we're, we're all fully the pitches aware. don't look that pitch. clever over there. I've got to say, Mate, the pitches don't exactly all... make me go, Ooh. Oh, and, and to be fair, it was it Panama, wasn't it? Absolutely rattled them. I've, I've, I've subscribed to a, 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 an app that allows us to get um, the international games at a cost. So, you know, it's, it's not an illegal streaming site. It was a, it's actually a subscription app. And um, I stayed up and watched it. And I've got to say, I, was, I really wasn't impressed. Um, and he was, again, he was hauled off after 70 minutes. And I think he wasn't allowed to play in the second game uh, because he was in England the previous 10 days, which is why the Brazil Argentina game was stopped. I'm not, yeah. I'm not judging. We'll, um, we'll leave that one there. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that could be another conversation. That could be the West Ham yeah. baby down the line. Um, yeah. But yeah, like I'd say, Rob, yeah, with the. <laughs> can't call it. No, we can call it a supplement. We just can't do it on a certain day of the week that comes after Saturday and before Monday. Um, so that, I don't yeah, think they do concern. that anymore, do they? They don't do it anymore on Sky the Sunday. I know, uh, I well, I, I, I think they, I, I think they probably part of the uh, part of the terms and conditions of apologising to um, 
to Golden Sullivan for calling them whatever it was that they called them. Um, Golden Sullivan probably now own the, the, the image rights or the uh, the TV rights to the name Sunday Supplement. So now if it's mentioned on Sky, I will, listen, I wouldn't put it past them, mate. Thing is, all you got to do is just say, in my opinion, and then you can say what you want. That's the, that's, um, that's the way to do it. So, in my opinion, they're useless. <laughs> in my opinion? Opinion. In my opinion, they're I think, whatever you want. So, you know. In my opinion, I think your story that we're about to talk about is going to divide opinions. Well, there's going to be a few people that. that are going to be mm. either way here, mate. I really do. Okay, I'm, I'm yeah. going to share it because this this has yeah. literally come up in the last, I think, half hour or so. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to share this with the viewers at home. Get rid of that, and then go full screen. My sources tell me he's not that good. Yes, that is what it says. XWHU <laughs> employee makes shock claim on West Ham attacker. Now, if you scroll down, he's basically talking about Meepo Odebeko, who's obviously just gone on loan to Huddersfield Town. So this is kind of a spin-off from what you was just saying. You mentioned players going out on loan, etc. Mm -hmm. Here is one. Now, he's obviously gone out on loan to Huddersfield, and I think a lot of people were sort of like, questioning the wisdom of that decision because obviously if Mikel Antonio does get an injury he's obviously someone that all right might not be straight in the first 11 but he could possibly be someone that could come in to fill a void on the bench however and this is a this is a quote from the WHU um, employee Twitter page I do believe um, yeah. I'm pleased Odebeko's gone on loan I know that sounds weird considering I said we've got no strikers, but I feel the jury's still out on him. Now, most West Ham fans rave about him and say what an amazing finisher he is, and he will score a lot of goals. But my sources that watch him every day at the training ground and watch him beyond joining for West Ham and things like that say to me that he is not very good or not that good. Excuse me, just for clarity. Um, now, it goes on to sort of say he's an 18-year-old striker who's got 26 goals in 22 games for the club's youth teams. But when he obviously played, as we know, the 20-minute cameo against Manchester United, coming on as a substitute in the uh, cup game at Old Trafford, against the team that he came to us from, he, he was basically like a fish on a bicycle. It was just like, pff, what's going on? So... Um, now I know this isn't a this isn't like it's David Moyes that's coming out and coating him off and, and all the rest of it. If it was, then yeah, something drastically wrong. But you know, this is someone that's quite well known within West Ham circles actually coming out and saying, being quite critical of, of, of an eighteen year old player that's just been sent out on loan. I, I don't know quite what to make of that, but um the one thing I will say, and we've we've discussed it before, is that, that in my opinion there you go. See, in my opinion, I can now say what I want. Um, in my opinion, <laughs> we should be sending we should be sending youth team players out quite regularly, quite early. You know, 16, 17, 18. 18. I was just saying 18 yep. at the latest. <clears throat> the first we can at yeah, 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 yeah. We got, we got, what did we get? The phone from Charlton at 16. And yep. I think he was done loaned down at Bournemouth by his 18th birthday, I think, you know, yeah. or just after. And he, and he tore up record books while he was down there. And he came back and, 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 and look at what he did. For, like, I, I know how he left and, you know, regardless. But look at what he did when he played. You know, mm. uh, he, he, again, he was, uh, you know, he, he formed a very good partnership with, with Paolo Di Canio um, toward Paolo's end of his time with us. So, you know, as, as you mentioned before we came on, Rob, you know, when we were talking about the stories, um, they can only play against and do well against what is, is put in front of them. Um, it's the same as England versus Andorra, essentially. You know, yeah. they, they can only do what's play against what's in front of them. Do They're I on a hiding to nothing what? in that situation, aren't they? Because it's like, no, if they, they win, are. it's like, so what? It's no big You're deal. But if it's, yeah. yeah, if the worst happens, but then the it's thing Armageddon. Is, the thing is, with the youngsters, though, and, and playing in, in what is essentially a, a, a Premier League 2, isn't it? I think is what it's called. Yeah. What frustrates yeah. me with that is there's no encouragement for these guys to go out. And we said it when we watched um, 
the under twenty three against Ebbsfleet. I know you and you and Miles you went to watch them against um South End. And yep. then you went over and watched them against Hay- uh, Haybridge. Uh, that was the 18s. Side, didn't you? Was that, that was the, the 18s? 18. Even then, it's still, it's still inclusive in that. Is yeah. that they, they're not coming up against players of experience. They're coming up against yeah. players their own age and their own experience. You know, gone are the days when, you, like we said, uh, Defoe went on loan down to, to Bournemouth. And he'd come up against that 36-year-old journeyman centre-back who yeah. will take lumps out of you. Yeah. Um, you know, Pick him up in the air, the, you, first you're, challenge. Yeah, you're, you're coming Bang. up against a, a, a centre-back who's of a similar age of you in Premier League to who's fully aware that your career and his career are following a similar path. He's not going to go out. I'm not saying a 36-year-old journeyman's going to go snap an 18-year-old wonder kid. But he's going to let him know what kind of lumps and kicks he's going to get. Whereas, yeah. you know, two 19-year-old, a 19-year-old, yeah, a 19-year-old centre forward and a 19-year-old centre back both know that their careers are on their line, and the centre back is really not going to go out and try and career-ending challenge, if you will. I'm not again, I'm not saying that the journeyman would, but he's going to stick a challenge in that might, you know, yeah. leave a mark on your leg. Let's say, um, and this is what it's... these kids are suffering from. Do you think it's quite concerning, though? Yeah. Do you think it's quite concerning, though? And I and I appreciate that ex WHU employee is not, like I say, he's not David Moyes, he's not Paul Nevin, he's not Kevin Nolan, he's not a West Ham manager, coach, whatever. Yeah. But do you think it's quite concerning that someone that's that well connected within the club and has the contacts that he has is actually coming out on record and and just basically saying. He ain't all that. I mean, do you, do you think that's quite a concern? No, no, because at the end of the day, um, although he is, in our eyes, technically tied to the club, okay, um, through however he's still tied to the club, he's still just one of us from at the end of the day. Mm. And, you know, we'll, we'll sit here and, for the want of a better word, slag off. Andre Yarmolenko not being good enough anymore. You know, um, we say that, you know, in our opinion, um, Mikel Antonio's shoe laces, uh, strawberry laces, um, hamstrings are going to screw him over later in his career. Um, we're, yeah. we're the ones sitting here going, you know, we we, we don't want to sign this player or that player because they're, they're crap. Um, essentially, that's all X is. He's one of us. With mm. all right, he might have a little bit more access backstage than we do, but he's just another West Ham fan with a voice either on a podcast, a YouTube channel, or, or social media. But it, that's literally, you know, not, and that's no. Di- I'm, I'm meaning no disrespect to X yeah. in, in what I'm saying. Absolutely. Um, but he's essentially he's he's free from any ties, if you will, to what he has to be careful to say. He's not mm. handcuffed by. Um, Golden Sullivan, he then suffers the consequences, if you know what I mean. So I don't know. I, I, I don't. I don't feel that he he has an obligation to um, a either blow smoke up their asses because you know mm. these are players that play for our club, or b you know he, he doesn't have to hold back if 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 that's you know if that's what he believes, then knock yourself out, son. Go say well, it. In, in fairness. It, well, in fairness, to be you know fair and even-handed about it, he's not saying that he thinks he's not that good. He's saying that people that he's spoken to have said that he's not that good. So, but it's just that he's are he's putting it out there that this is the information yeah. that he's been given. Which, uh, yeah, whether you find that a, a concern or not, I suppose it's up to the individual. There, we shall leave it, Duke, my friend. Time has time has beat us once more. Um, thank you, everybody, blown. for joining us. It has, it has. Um, for those of you that have joined us, thanks very much. As I say, you've got the comment section below. Get stuck in on the two subjects that we've brought to the table. As usual, don't forget to drop a like on the stream, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and make sure you touch that bell to be notified of any new content Indeed. as and when we upload it to the channel. And the last thing I'm going to finish with, guys, this campaign is still ongoing. This little girl still needs our help. 
Um, you know the drill. She's she's fighting for her life. She can't get the treatment in this country. So this family, West Ham supporting family, needs our help. And to be honest with you, it doesn't matter whether they're a West Ham supporting family. They're, they're the family that is in desperate, desperate need. All we ask you to do, copy and paste this information on this banner. It's in the description below, YouTube and Facebook. Put it on your social media platforms with a little note as to what the appeal is all about. Um, and if you are at all in a position to put a few quid into the tin, you've got the Just Giving link there. Please do so. And I thank you very much indeed for your support, as always. Duke, my friend, I'm going to hit end thank broadcast. Only one thing left to say, as usual, my friend. Come, Come on, on, you irons.